up here you got a park you got an arcade you got a pizzeria whatnot it's not excessive like some of the other boardwalks on the Jersey Shore where you'll get pizzeria arcade t-shirt store and repeat all the way down then you get a pier with some rides that nobody wants to go on parking lot big enough considering the majority of people are not here to just park and get on the beach most of the people park at their houses it is a fairly clean area. I know that the township actually puts a lot of money into keeping it clean. Today is part two to why you might want to go to Avalon. I may not be talking through all of this. I'm just going to show what the strip looks like. And today is a great day for that because it is overcast. The overcast makes it so, you know, the beach, the beach that you can get anywhere. You can get a beach at any shore town. You may see some different things here, but really, you know, just because the women look a little bit better doesn't mean that the ocean is any warmer than it is in Atlantic City or Wildwood. Though the sand is a little bit nicer here, I can't lie. They each have their own things. And this is one of very few spots that I've seen in New Jersey that actually has electric car charging spots where you can actually plug in while you're doing whatever it is that you do. There's plenty of activity, though the day life is more family oriented. The nightlife is still very alive. I'm not going to be able to show that on a live stream because I'll be working. The grocery store actually has more produce and healthy things, much more than you're going to find at many other spots. Although I don't think there's a fruit truck here, which is always nice on some of the other islands. For the most part, most people mind their own, although I probably appear as though I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to you. I actually worked there for a little bit last summer. They let me go for sleeping in the parking lot, in my van. I'm not, you know, it wasn't like I was like passed out drunk and in some kind of degrading situation. I try not to do that. I at least find my way home since my home is, is usually not far from where I decide to die down. If I could sit in traffic for six hours to get an uh, hour inland or I could hang out and enjoy it here for another six hours and only spend an hour in travel, that's what I would do and that's what i implore that you do as well that's the case with all the seasonal shore towns that you do. why why would you leave to just sit with it if you can afford to stay the extra day stay too i don't know the sun comes out people are actually starting to head to the beach here i am headed up to the beach I have found myself a nice secluded spot back here on the back bay on, you know, behind Avalon. Right before you go over the bridge, it's actually in front of it if you're coming from the mainland, but I think of it as coming from the ocean because it is a short town. If you have never been on these waters, it doesn't matter what kind of watercraft you have. Well, it does. If you have a yacht, you may not want to come back here. It's not very deep, but any kind of sea doer or uh, jet ski or smaller like bass boats and stuff. If you have never been on these waters, there is something for everyone. Whether you're towing somebody behind jet ski 
or like me, you're paddling around on your kayak and just enjoying the view. There is so much wildlife out here. It is phenomenal. I'm actually going to turn the camera around so that you can see some of this wildlife. Now, the it's not obvious, but you can kind of tell the scape of it. If you look at the structure of the mud on the beach here, you can tell that crabs live in each and every one of those holes. And when the tide is high, I'm sure they come out and they do their thing. I did see a lot of tide, a lot of crabs when I was coming out, but the tide has been going down, so I'm seeing less. If we look at the ground, which this may not be the best spot because it's covered in seafood, uh, seaweed, but these little balls here, they're not just chunks of mud. They're actually shells. There are, there are shellfish in them. There are little on there. And because of all the shellfish that is on these beaches, and you can see, you can see clam shells up there. You can see mussels up in the grasses a little bit. You can see all sorts of things. Because of all the, the shellfish that are on these beaches, there is all manner of seabird and shorebird. I have seen osprey. I have seen herring. I have seen actually multiple kinds of herring so far. I have seen a few of the runners on the beach and I can see one way over there, but you probably can't see it on my camera because it is what it is. I don't think I can zoom, but we can try. Oh yeah, we can. But the, the, at 720p, I don't think that looks very good. So we're not gonna do that. But there are, there are all matter of Yeah.